here in the test bench, I'm um, set up to test the pressure and flow rate for an OEM Toyota Yaris fuel pump. Uh, in the bucket, I have the complete fuel sender assembly from a Yaris, purchased from a junkyard. I currently have a piece of fuel hose connected to the output, and right now have a pressure gauge on the output as well to determine what the, uh, the fuel pressure regulator is set at. The service manual states that it's 44 to 50 PSI uh, here by connecting a pressure gauge to the output and running it, uh, we'll be able to determine at what pressure the bypass kicks in and uh, at that point that'll show us what our, our fuel pressure regulator is actually set to. Um, the benchtop supply that I'm using is a very precise uh, industrial supply. Um, in this case I have the pump powered by both output channels. So I've paralleled the two output channels because per channel this supply can only supply 3 amps and uh, in my initial measurements I found that at around 13.5 volts the fuel pump is drawing about 3.5 amps. So in this case by paralleling two outputs I have up to 6 out amps of uh, supply current. So if I go ahead now and power on the supply. I've already calibrated the supply to 13.5 volts, which um, in the case of fuel pumps, when we see ratings for them, the ratings are going to be at a particular pressure and at a particular voltage. The higher the voltage, the faster the fuel will flow through the pump, lower the voltage, the, lower, uh, the slower the fuel will flow. So when we look at a chart for a fuel pump, typically we're going to see that it's either rated at 12 volts or at 13.5. In this case I'm going to do my testing at 13.5 which is closer to the regulated supply voltage on the car. So if I go ahead now and I'm going to go ahead and hold the pressure gauge and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the bench top supply. You see the pressure gauge very quickly climb and the pressure gauge is now sitting at 45 PSI. So that's right within that range that the service manual specifies of 40 to 50 PSI. And again, we can see my benchtop supply is showing that I'm currently running at 13.5 volts. So if I go ahead and kill the supply, pressure bleeds down a bit to about 41 PSI. Ideally, if my uh, system is properly sealed, um, it shouldn't bleed down any more than that. If I let it sit here, it should stay at pressure. So now to disconnect the pressure gauge, I have to be very careful because it's going to spray since there's 40 PSI behind it. So I'll go ahead and do that within the bucket. And again, we hear it spray pretty well. Okay, so now with the pressure gauge disconnected, if I simply run the pump, we can see the flow rate of it. And uh, it's not a very high flow rate uh, that, you know, as to what we might expect to see, but uh, considering the size of the injectors on the car, um, this is apparently plenty of fuel to supply the stock injectors. 